When we make a mistake, says Andrea Lewis in the book Evolution in Two Worlds, chapter 19, when he talks about predisposition to illnesses, he says, illnesses begin any type, spiritual, mental, physical. And if we are apparently healthy today, tomorrow may be our day. So it's good to know about this, because then we know the way we got in and how we can get out, rebalanced. Of course, we make poor choices. And when we realize it was a grave mistake, that memory of the mistake, he says, keep pulsating inside of us. And then, he says, we create a vibratory zone of remorse that it's almost like, he says, a node of disturbance and that vibrates and creates the morbid predispositions in our lives. Morbid predisposition means predisposition to illness. So the spirits are just following the teachings of the therapy of the gospel. If we don't sin again, we're not going to trigger it. But when it comes out, it's a blessing. Because that mistake is being drained through the body. And some people, before they reincarnate, they beg to have the ultimate spiritual makeover. And when it happens, they think they are cursed. They forgot. They asked for it. And you know, makeovers are not easy. You may look beautiful after a while, but at that very moment, it's scary. But we need to keep looking in the future. That spiritual plastic surgery that is happening inside of us. Future. And they say, reincarnation is healing. No wonder Jesus said, to see the kingdom of God we need to be born again. We need to revisit our choices. Try it again. Make better choices. And he says in the book Evolution into Worlds, numerable illnesses are curable after a short, long period of internship in matter, reincarnation, when the person will heal herself by being in direct touch with the struggles that she needs to master and overcome. So instead of saying, oh my God, so hard to say, hallelujah, I'm facing exactly what I need to grow. That's what Mother Mary did when she discarnated. And before seeing Jesus, she said, I want to see the people who are going to be sacrificed at the Coliseum because they became Christians. She was there, underground Coliseum, sad and humid and dark, people were hopeless. That's why they say she's the mother of hopeless hearts. And then she wasn't fully aware how she could help, says Brother X. But then she said, you know, the message is always about joy. Let us sing. And she whispered in one of the women's ears saying, my daughter, cheer up. Sing. Let us transform the earthly pains in heavenly joys. And that's how we should face our struggles. Smile. Like the ballerinas, right? They were dancing and smiling. So we should smile, why not? And say, and people are like, oh, you won the lottery? Yeah, spiritual lottery. Uh-huh, because spiritism is a is true lottery for us, it is. And they say, when we need the medication, he teaches us that every medication is a projection of the chemoelectro elements over the cellular aggregations that stimulate or correct the functions of the cells. So we need to learn with Kardec when he talks in the Spirit's book about elementals. Some people, they take their pills like this. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna work. But whatever, have to take it. We're, we're 
magnetizing it, it is not solid matter, it's energy. Einstein has already proved us there's no solid matter, it's just a state of matter. We magnetize it, it's already pulsating, and if we send a message, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. And if it works, minimal effect. Same as food, sit down, sit down like, okay, it doesn't look pretty, I know it doesn't taste too good, whatever, eat it. And it doesn't do what it's best for us. And then we need to eat more. We're not satisfied. We're not aligned. With these teachings, we learn that the doctor of all doctors wants us to cherish this and say, this is what God is giving me. Do the best with the resources we're given. Oh, I cannot do the mention of the way like Devaldo Franco. Are we supposed to do that? Very likely not. But the resources I have at hand are to have, to teach children and youth about refining their senses through classical dance. And spiritual dance with spiritism in the spiritist group. Okay, what else can we do? And then others join in and add and add. But if we're like those who take one talent and because they're afraid, I'm not good enough to speak. Uh, 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 no, I'm not good enough. Who am I? It's that guy who had one talent and was afraid and didn't multiply. Whatever condition, multiply. The trademark of, of the, the spiritists, because they are Christ soldiers, is goodwill. Says Joana de Angel in the last chapter of the book, Living and Loving, she says, Christmas in action, the trademark of the Christ follower is goodwill. Can you come and do this? Yes, I can. How? I don't know. I'll figure this out. And we don't need to share how we're going to change our life around to make that happen, but we will. There's no such thing as, oh, no, no, I can't. Yes, I will. Of course, unless it's a, a, an outrageous or an impossible thing to do, but can you come and give passes? I will learn as I perform it. There is no, look at Peter, John, James, and others. They didn't know it all. They learned it as they were following the Master. And the spirit doctors that accompany Jesus, they have more than knowledge. They have more qualities. So when we call Jesus, he comes with a group of people. He never comes alone. And we need to know who is with them to take care of us with him. The spirit doctors who not only in Osolar showed us that they have the knowledge to operate and heal our spiritual body, but also the good heart. Should we trust them? Of course. And to wrap it up, the main element of his therapy is teaching us to align ourselves, be faithful to God. There's nothing more important. And it must be with joy, courage, and hope. When one of the disciples, Bartholome, was following Jesus' teachings, chapter 8 of this book. He was depressed and sad, but he was there following Jesus. And Jesus, as a good observer, he was always watching out for everyone. It's amazing. No, no doubt he's watching us as well. And he's going to send messages, like he did to Bartholomew. He called and said, come here. What's going on? He said, Master. I love your teachings, I love what you do, but you know the world is bad. 
Isn't that what 